Can you beat Cluster Trucks DLC without jumping? The rules are simple. There is just one. You can't press the A button because the A button makes you jump. That's it. It, it is I, no further explanation needed. I will not be going over every level because some of them are very easy first try. I will just be going over the levels that gave me some difficulty and I had to actually come up with a plan on how to beat them. But if you want to see me beat every single level, I will post the full run on my second channel linked here. Level 3 was the first one to give me any trouble since you can't just ride on the first set of trucks, forcing you to take the jetpack and time slow to get over the fence and land on the trucks below. After that, you can easily ride on the hood of the truck to go under the pipes, and then you have to hope the truck you chose gets boosted up by the ghosts on the ground so you have enough height to make it into the goal. This level forces you to use up your entire ability bar to make precise jumps to make it to the next group of trucks before they drive too far, leaving you stranded. By taking time slow and jetpack, I'm able to carry myself much further than normally allowed, letting me land on the trucks just before they get out of reach. I have to do this trick four times in a row to make it to the goal. Level 7 was not necessarily hard, but more tedious because it's a luck based level. Lots of pumpkins come raining down on the trucks, leading to the goal, and I failed many times here, not due to a skill issue, but the fact that a pumpkin would knock over the trucks, completely blocking the path. As you can see in this attempt, enough trucks made it to the end that I was able to shimmy myself into the goal. Level 8 was the second hardest level in the Halloween DLC due to the massive jump you have to make at the beginning. There's just no way to get ahead fast enough before the trucks start moving, forcing you to play catch up throughout the entire level. While playing this, I was genuinely questioning if it was even possible, but luckily if you time it well, you can it on each truck. Level 10 was the hardest level of the Halloween DLC, but in the attempt you're watching, it's not really going to look like I did much. Normally this level has a bunch of fireballs that you would have to jump in between, like subway surfers, but of course I don't have jumps and not even close to enough jetpack fuel to avoid every single fireball. But by landing on certain trucks, you can get semi-consistent RNG, letting me land on a truck that very slowly drives in between the lanes, avoiding all the fireballs, and then taking me straight to the end of the level. Level 4 is the first and only level in the Christmas world to actually have some difficulty to it and it ramps it up to the 10th degree, forcing you to ration the use of your powers down as far as possible to land on the trucks ahead of you. The biggest weakness of not being able to jump are levels where you have to make rapid small jumps since even the smallest jump uses a large amount of our ability, meaning we have to find the right moments to use a large enough portion of our ability to move ahead while being able to regen before moving again.
Uh, this video is shorter. I didn't realize there was there, there's way less levels in the DLC. Um, but thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to unsubscribe and dislike because I, I, you know, that's just the funny thing people say now, I guess. That's just, that's the new meta to say unsubscribe and dislike. Anyway, thanks for watching.